pneumonia, tuberculosis, the bubonic plague. Some of the worst diseases in history have wreaked havoc. Many the result of infectious bacteria, and we were virtually powerless to stop them. That is, until around 100 years ago, when humanity found a weapon that helped to turn the tables, antibiotics. They were the silver bullet the world had been waiting for. We could finally fight back against bacteria, saving countless lives. But bacteria had evolved, developing clever ways of defending against our attacks. And the result has been an escalating arms race. Science has given us an armory of weapons, beta-lactams, aminoglycosides, tetracyclines, carpapenems. But dangerous gram-negative bacteria have evolved so that many antibiotics can't penetrate. And they're increasingly commonplace in hospitals. Some bacteria have efflux pumps that actively remove antibiotics, while others produce enzymes that destroy them. So far, we've managed to stay ahead in the arms race, but we're reaching a tipping point. Bacteria are becoming too strong, and our weapons are becoming obsolete. Today's antibiotic-resistant bacteria can now withstand even carpapenems, our weapons of last resort. In the last decade, the rate of carbapenem-resistant infections in the U.S., for example, has quadrupled. And up to half of patients who get bloodstream infections from these bugs will die. Losing the fight against infectious bacteria would be catastrophic. In addition to countless lost lives, it could mean shutting down hospitals during outbreaks. Routine surgeries could be deadly. We could forget potentially life-saving organ transplants, and surgeries such as hip replacements would be jeopardized. To win, we need new weapons, and we need to find them quickly. We need new antibiotics that can overcome the toughest of bacterial resistances. And since early treatment is key to successful recovery, we need antibiotics that can be effective against multiple different types of bacteria. At Novartis Institutes for Biomedical Research, we're committed to the fight. We're taking a closer look at the membranes of gram-negative bacteria to find a way to penetrate their armor. We're studying the genomes of these deadly superbugs to discover how they keep drugs out. And we're searching for common vulnerabilities across class, order, genus, and species. Novartis is in it for the long haul, and we're prepared to win. Join us in the fight.